सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दी अनादर लेक्चर सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस लेक्चर इज डिस प्रोटेक्शन की टू पावर डिवाइस रिलायबिलिटी नाउ वॉट इज डिस प्रोटेक्शन वाई दिस फीचर इज देयर इन अ गेट ड्राइवर और समटाइम वी एड द डिस प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड टू प्रोटेक्ट अवर डिवाइस राइट Why all this thing we will do? What is the need of decent protection and all? All this thing we are going to answer in this question and the answer in this video. Okay, so let's get started with this video. So you can see on your screen that basically this is the circuit for the decent protection. Like one uh, C B L K is there, R B L K, and one diode is there. Another one comparator is there. So using this uh, thing we can uh, basically design one decent uh, circuit. Which will protect my device. Now this is kind of protection, and what kind of protection it is? So you can see here that this is a IGBT characteristics. Now you know the reason of operation of IGBT: saturation region, active region, and cutoff region. Okay. So D set meaning maybe something it is operating in the saturation region and it is going outside the saturation region. So that is the why the name is D set. Okay. So a uh, such sort of uh, uh, idea we have that okay. So maybe it is going outside. That is why the name is D set kind of protection is rare and D set meaning desaturation protection. Okay. Now let's get started with this video. We will understand in detail about the D set protection. So uh, let's uh, move forward. now what is a desaturation protection so uh, some theory is written down i will just read it out for you and then i will explain so desaturation protection is a critical feature in a gate driver used for insulated gate bipolar transistor so mostly this desaturation protection is used for igbts okay and sometimes in the low power mosfet so uh, if somebody ask you that why this desaturation protection mostly used for igbt is not for the mosfet so you can answer after watching this video okay then it is designed to detect the fault condition so this protection feature is for design, basically detecting the fault condition where the power switch igbt or mosfet fail to turn on properly and entered into the state of high conduction loss known as a desaturation so what is written down that if my device is if my device is operating in a some faulty condition and when it is operating in my faulty condition what will happen it will basically go in a desaturation region and in the desaturation region what will happen basically high conduction losses will be there and because of high conduction losses what is happen because of the high conduction losses my device will going to be heat up and it may damage my device and that is why for protection of my device this desaturation protection is implemented and it is mostly implemented in igbt you know one concept i will uh, tell you you know one concept that mostly my device either operate in the saturation region or cut off region okay my power electronic device either it is in the on state or in the off state what is the reason basically when when it is in the on state my voltage drop is near be zero when it is in off state my current flowing through the device is zero and that time the power loss is very less but if it is operating somewhere here what is happen voltage is also some finite and current is also finite that time losses will be more and i don't want and my switch will be turn on turn off for so many times right it has very high switching frequency so i don't want too much of losses that is why we prefer to operate my switch either in the saturation region or in the cut off region okay and that is why this protection will do it will not allow to go device in the active region okay if the device will go in active region very high conduction losses is there and that is why this desaturation protection will protect okay so i hope so you got some idea why desaturation protection what is the name of why there is a name for desaturation protection and how it will protect now uh, go in a some uh, basically other things like how this will protect at all okay so move in the next slide what is desaturation i have explained you what is the desaturation so i will just read it out for you in normal operation what will happen when igbt or mosfet is fully turned on it is operate in the saturation region okay when it is turned on it is operate in the saturation region and in saturation region characterized by the low on state voltage so that time it has very low on state voltage and any device has particular on state voltage okay if the voltage across the device is uh, uh, passed more than that voltage then device may be damaged okay so we should keep one thing in our mind that this particular voltage should not exceed otherwise my device may get damaged okay 
Now other thing is if the device doesn't fully turn on or it is in the fault condition. Why the fault will happen? Because of the over current or insufficient gate drive voltage or some short circuit is happen. Okay. So what will happen in this case? My device characteristics will move from into the linear region on in the active region. Okay. And where the very high voltage drop will be there and basically I told you that every device at some certain uh, basically drop. If the drop is uh, basically uh, cross then it will be go in a state of desaturation okay and very high heat dissipation will be there and my device may get damage so you understood i guess that what is the desaturation from here okay now the question is why i always say that sir this desaturation protection is mostly used in igbt and why not in silicon carbide mosfet or silicon mosfet so you see the characteristics so the igbt characteristics after a particular threshold voltage my device is going to be in a desaturation very quickly but if you see the characteristic of silicon carbide mosfet or silicon it is mostly the saturation is at very uh, uh, basically very high value and uh, i definitely know that my device will my voltage across device will not go in up to this particular high value and that is why you can see that either you see the data sheet of any gate driver there is a no uh, desaturation protection is in view but if you see the data sheet if you have picked one gate driver ic for igbt then you can find that the desaturation protection is inherently there or you have you can keep the desaturation circuitry outside to protect your device okay so what we have learned so far so now is that basically desaturation protection is a protection which will protect my device from going to desaturation region it will protect to go in a desaturation region and if the my device is going desaturation region what will happen my device may get damaged okay so all this thing and another thing is why igbt mostly we will uh, apply the desaturation protection that is also you have understood from this now we will move forward now what is the purpose you have understood that to detect when the device has entered a desaturation and take immediately corrective action to protect the device from overheating and failure so this purpose you know now second is a ensure the system reliability ensure the system reliability and prevent the catastrophic damage to the power stage okay if the system my device may get damaged then maybe some other component nearby that could also be damaged so that is why basically it will prevent that damage okay if the if, if my device is going in the desaturation region now next is how this protection will happen how the protection work now you can see this circuit like uh, basically all these thing you, within the driver ic so you can see this all this part so i am connecting my c blk r blk and one diode outside the driver ic and all these thing like this a uh, comparator and all these things are there inside the uh, driver IC. Okay, now how this will work? So either basically this protection circuit are designed to detect the transient either by measuring the current or monitoring the voltage level at the present threshold. Okay, so what it will do? The comparator is there, and this comparator has some reference value. Like either you can give the current reference I decide or you can give the voltage desaturation. But mostly what will happen? Mostly the uh, uh, reference which is given is a voltage reference. Okay. So mostly the voltage reference is provided, not current reference. Now what will happen? Like in during the normal operating condition, what happen? V desaturate is greater than V C. So up to one particular threshold value, I will set this. And if my device voltage, okay, V C uh, voltage across the device crosses this value, then what it, I will do? I will take some corrective action and basically I will switch off my circuit. Similarly, in normal operating condition, this will fine but when the condition reverses basically then my voltage across the device will be higher than the desaturation voltage then i have to take some corrective action okay and i will take corrective action and i will shut down my circuit so this is how the working is now the next is the key component what are the different components required so the different key components are first is a current sensing resistor or voltage divider so what i said that mostly we will sense the voltage okay so i have some threshold we, we decide i have a keep like a 5 volt 7 volt and i will uh, basically uh, trace the my voltage across the i will try to know the voltage across my device using the voltage divider circuits okay so i will use one a voltage sense voltage divider ic voltage sensing ic along with the voltage divider and i can get value of actual voltage across the device second thing is a comparator okay so comparator is there 
okay so either you need to do, uh, basically if this feature is inherently there in a gate driver then you don't need to buy the comparator otherwise you have to buy the comparator like a simple op amp and for such circuit and this will give you a result so comparator is there so grade driver logic like logic is like basically when vd set is greater than the voltage across this then i don't have to take any action but when the voltage across the device will be higher then i have to take action and i have to basically stop my circuit then important thing is a blanking capacitor what this blanking capacitor will do so it is written down here it add a delay to a filter out transient like i will explain this point in very detail in the next slide okay so the blanking capacitor is there see blanking okay then another thing is a blanking resistor is there and blanking high voltage blocking diode is also there okay so these are the different important component which are there in a dsat protection now the most important is a blanking capacitor so i will explain this uh, uh, in next slide now if you see any gate driver ic okay so this is the gate driver ic for the my uh, igbt protection okay so you can see that this pin number 14 so inherent protection dsat protection is there okay i what i just need to add i need to add this circuit like c blanking capacitor d r dsat and uh, d dsat so this component i need to add in this fashion okay then my circuit will be okay and i am going to get the response when and i will uh, this circuit will operate in such a way that basically if there is any fault it will automatically detect and it will give the control logic okay so this is how basically in particular gate driver sometimes the feature is inherently there now important thing is a blanking time okay so blanking time corresponding to the uh, capacitor okay so how the blanking time is calculated and what should be the blanking time okay and what i told you that this blanking capacitor is for the filter out the transient what kind of transient so i will explain in next slide so blanking time basically you can determine using this formula the recommended value is basically 100 picofarad which gives the blanking time around the 2.6 microsecond so basically always uh, this is the condition at basically uh, charging current is 2250 microampere and we reset is 6.5 volt basically this is a common for igbt so that time we always try to maintain my basically blanking time to 2.6 microsecond okay and with corresponding to the 2.6 microsecond 100 picofarad capacitor is generally preferred so in this circuit you use the 100 picofarad capacitor and some r dset value which is uh, given in the metadata sheet so you can use that value and you can form your circuit and then your ic is ready to for this particular protection okay so that your device will be not damaged now another important thing is basically that why this uh, uh, basically blanking time is very important so dsat detection must trigger the false fa trigger fast enough to prevent the catastrophic failure okay so this dsat protection will be faster so that my device may get not damaged okay but however what happens sometime because of the system non-ideality such as a non-ideal switching of the power devices where the voltage and current transition take a hundreds of nanoseconds to complete so small transient will be there so that time so this transient are not basically damaging in nature so my device is uh, built in such a way that it can handle those small transient so that time basically what happen this dsat protection should not give the signal like stop working okay if it will give the stop working signal then circuit will be uh, turn off but these are the small transient which will not damage my device so such transient should be eliminated okay so such transient should not be taken into the account should not consider into the account so that is why basically uh, this uh, uh, feature is there like we are going to use the uh, blanking capacitor so what it will do it it will measure should be delayed until the device is fully turned on and the voltage reach the lowest value okay so this delay should be provided by this blanking time blanking capacitor and this uh, time should be sufficient so that it will not take the transient into the account okay so this will measure so what will happen that this blanking this my dsat protection will be delayed by some unit and that is why this transient are eliminated additionally oscillations can further occur after the fast voltage transient causing the dsat voltage to rise above the threshold 
For this reason, desert circuit are designed with the inherent delay called as the blanking time. Okay, so that is why there is an inherent delay in a blanking time. So I hope so you understood the concept. If somebody asks you in future that why this blanking capacitor is there and all, so you can answer, sir. There is a transient will come or sometime oscillation will come, and these are very small oscillation. And because of this oscillation, my device will not go into damage. So my desired circuit should be programmed in a such a way that there is a small inherent delay which will not consider all these things and basically when there is a actual uh, fault is there that time it should trigger the signal and circuit will be turned off so all this theory is about the blanking capacitor now next thing is what are the different advantages available with this desired protection so it will protect my device okay from overheating and damage due to the fault then system reliability it will ensure the safe operation under normal abnormal condition then fault diagnosis provide the valuable information for troubleshooting the system fault Th and last one is the controlled shutdown okay so soft turn off minimize the straight on the circuit component and what will it will do it will generate the signal in such a way that there will be the soft turn on soft turn off okay so you should you may be know about the switching hard switching soft switching hard turn on soft turn on okay so that is the case so what it will do it will be soft turn on my device now what are the limitation with this so i told you that this uh, basically method is generally preferred for igbt you this first point then second is latency what is latency the desaturation detection and response time must be fast enough to prevent the device damage okay so this should be fast enough like uh, if it is detecting uh, basically after few microseconds then till that time my device may get burn out okay so that is why it should be fast enough second the parasitic effect so high speed switching can introduce the noise leading to the false triggering if not properly designed okay so parasitic effect is also there if we are not designing it properly then because of the parasitic sometime my voltage may get high okay and if that voltage is beyond that blanking time then it will uh, basically take it as a, a signal and then it will generate the uh, command in respect to that and it will stop my working so that is all the things which we have to taken into the account then additional components are required that is also we have seen that capacitor is there uh, uh, basically one diode is there and resistor is there so it will add the component count okay so all these are the limitation so with this i will conclude this lecture so i hope so you understood what is the desat protection why this is very important for the igbt why not for some other devices how this feature is there in the ic and how we can make the desat protection circuit and what is the blanking time important of blanking time in the desat protection so all this thing we have covered in this lecture hope so you understood and thanks thanks for watching i guess you understood everything so i'll see you in the next class so thanks thanks for watching